Quizalize is another website that you can use to create quizzes for students to play either as a whole class or independently on their own Chromebook. Uh, so the way that Quizalize works is you sign in, you can create a free teacher account. When you sign in, it's just going to ask you a couple questions like what grade do you teach, what subject, etc. And then the great thing is, much like quizzes or Kahoot, you can search for different quizzes or create your own. So for example, if I look at a quiz for, let's say, unit rate, I type in unit rate and I just search and it gives me all of these down here. So let's say I wanted to look at this one, it's 18 questions, I can view the questions along with the correct answer, and then after viewing it, I think everything looks good, I can give it to my class, edit it, or preview it. So the way that preview works, I highly suggest you do this just to see what the kids will view when they're playing the quiz, would be this. So this is what the students would see when they're playing the quiz. So it says Joseph earned $56 for babysitting his cousin for eight hours. How much did he make per hour? Um, let's just say I choose a wrong answer. It would You have the option of turning all of this off if you don't want the students to view this. Um, so that's what it looks like if they get it wrong. Danced so hard in hours. And this is what it looks like if they get it right. So that's just what the students will see on their individual device. Um, there's a couple different options, actually there's a lot of different options for um, when you give this to your class. So if I were to give this to my class, you would see all of these different settings. Do you want them to have sounds? Do you want the question order to be randomized? I always turn that on so it's easy, it makes, sorry, it makes it harder for students to cheat. Um, because everyone's on a different question at any given time. You can use a timer or you can just let them do it at their own pace. This is where you provide or turn off the student feedback. So by having this on, students will see how long it took them to get or to answer the question whether or not they got it right. Um, I'm going to leave that on, but I'm going to turn off showing them the correct answer. This is pretty cool too. You can make them show their work in which case what I would recommend is you have them solve it on a whiteboard and then take a picture and upload it through their Chromebook. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature. Um, you can turn that on or off. Mastery mode is great because it forces the students to get the correct answer. So let's say for instance I go through and I get the question wrong. Uh, through having mastery mode on I will then see every question I got wrong come up again before the quiz is over. So let's say I'm happy with these settings, I hit continue. Uh, you can give it the option of having, having them play it live in class or assign it as homework and you can make it you know available for however long you want. You also have the option to give them unlimited tries or a certain number and then you can put comments if you want and then I just hit finish this is really cool in my opinion. This is a part of the differentiation feature that Quizalize has. So you can actually choose different activities that they will um, be given after they do this Quizalize. So for students that score less than a 50%, they can do the um, uh, a different activity versus ones that got 50 to 80 percent and then students who got above 80 percent. So that's really cool. Um, it gives easy differentiation right then and there. And then all of these, this is where we were, we were just looking at the differentiation. All of this can be viewed after the students take the Quizalize. So what happens is while the students are playing um, you can do it in two ways. I typically like to do the team versus team. And so what happens is as students are logging in, and the way that they log in is they just go to this website and type in this code, it actually divides the class up into two different teams. You'll see names aligning on the left-hand side and names aligning on the right-hand side. And so for every correct question, the students move closer and closer to the middle of the screen. And it actually looks like this. So this is what it looks like. Students are divided into two teams and they move closer to the middle with each correct answer. Um, after the students answer all these questions, 
it gives you a whole variety of reports. So this is pretty cool. It divides it into three groups, people who did really well, um, people who are, I think this is the uh, 50 to 80% range, and then this is the below 50% range. So it divides it into easy visual groups for you. It then provides, you know, individualized reports for each student. Um, and again, it highlights their strengths and weaknesses, which is great. Um, it just gives you a whole variety of different reports, reports following the Quizalize. And so the great thing is, is like you don't have to recreate the wheel here. You can look for different assessments on your own, or if you want, you can create your own activity. Um, so I highly recommend that you try this in your classroom. My quid, or sorry, my kids really enjoyed it when I used this, and it's free. It's easy to use, and you can find virtually any subject on here. So that's Quizalize.